Hey guys, welcome back to Morris Manor. In this video, I go into storage and try to find Cerberus and try to find a place for him in my room, which ends up being kind of problematic. We'll get on with the video in just a second, but real quick, I wanted to inform you that the Haunter shoutout series is coming back. I'm going to make one final episode of it, so if you want a shoutout, please don't hesitate. Leave a comment below. The first comment, no matter what, will get a shoutout, so make sure to leave a comment and um, you will get a shoutout in the final episode of Haunter shoutouts. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, welcome back to Morris Manor, and today we're going to be picking up a prop from storage. If you read the title, you already know what it is, so let's go get Cerberus. Now outside, sorry for the brightness, we're going to... We're going to pick up servers. Let's go ahead and do that. It's right over there, just out of frame, but uh, actually, the house I'm picking it up from is indeed the house where I have the haunt in. We have arrived at our destination. There he is. Oh, just turn on the rest of the lights. It's kind of dark. Uh, it's still kind of dark, but it's better. Here's our rest. I don't think I really made a formal video announcing I've gotten him, but here he is. Kind of fragile because one of his heads broke off, so I had to like duct tape it right under there. But I still love him. So unfortunately, I can't record me bringing him home, but you'll see him at home in just a minute. Here he is, getting ready to open up the garage and come on in. You know, honestly, one thing I really like about bringing props back to my house from somewhere else is that I get a lot of attention through the streets. Yeah. Oh boy, this thing is heavy. I think I gotta figure out a new plan. He fits, and I still have more than enough space in my room, although it's kind of messy right now, as you can see. But it just looks really bad. But this head's not even up. It's just, it just looks bad. Okay, so I'm wondering if maybe this will work. I'm gonna try to get this zombie out of the way of my background and move him back to where he used to be, and then get Cerberus and put him in his place. I'm not sure how this is gonna look, but it's worth a try. Now while I do like his new position, as you can tell, it is very off screen, and this wouldn't even be the normal thing I'd have in the videos. Normally it'd be more like that, probably, so you can just barely see Oh, I, want, I always want to show, like, the boogeyman's head. That's about usually when I try to stop right there. So, you can see just a little bit of the hump on him. And just maybe the points of the ears. There's just an idea here, and this is just me throwing out ideas. I'm not sure how it's going to work. But, perhaps if I got his box and set him up on top of it, I don't know. Might be a terrible idea, but I guess it's worth a try. Alright, got him in. Uncomely Death's hand is jabbed into his structure, uh, so I'm going to have to move things around a little bit. Um, instead of doing time lapse and making this video very lengthy, I'm just going to go ahead and do it and turn the camera back on when it's done. So, Alright guys, so that took a while, but I finally got it done. 
Uh, I like it. I don't know. Tell me, tell me what you guys think of it. Um, actually, camera for most of my videos will probably be more like that. I want to say maybe probably like that. But <clears throat> I don't know if you guys like it. I personally like it, but I want to make sure you guys like it and everything. Not everything is in sight like it used to be. But, I mean, that's alright, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna get it so it's not as, like, messed up. There we go. Lights, lighting's better now. So, yeah, we got Cerberus. We got uh, all the rest of my things in, I think. So, I hope you guys like it. Thanks for watching, guys. Please rate, comment, subscribe. I'll see you later. Remember, Halloween's in the air. And happy hauntings. Excuse me. Bye.